Okay, so this equation looks like a lot of fun. Let's give it a try. Let's count the atoms up first and then balance the equation. We have eight carbons, 18 hydrogens, and then three plus two, five oxygens. On the product side, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, and one plus two, make sure you count all of them, three oxygen atoms. So this is a combustion reaction. We have this hydrocarbon plus oxygen, and it produces water and carbon dioxide. You'll always see the O2, H2, and CO2 in combustion reactions, and then have carbon and hydrogen as well. When we balance combustion reactions, it's best to leave the oxygens until last. That usually works out well because this oxygen, it's all by itself. So at the end, I could change the number, the coefficient in front of O2, and that would balance the oxygens without changing the hydrogens or the carbons. Let's try that. So let's do the carbons first. If we put an eight here, one times eight, that gives us eight. That's balanced. We do need to update the oxygens. So we have the one plus eight times two, so one plus 16, we now have 17 oxygen atoms. Might as well just fix the hydrogens by putting a nine in front of the H2O. Two times nine, that gives us 18. Those are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. So we have nine times one, let's say nine plus eight times two, that's 16, 25 oxygen atoms. So the question is, we have 25 here and five here. How do we get this to work? How do we get this to balance? The way I like to do this is get rid of this five here and say three plus some number that is gonna be our coefficient here equals this 25. Then the equation would be balanced. Three plus 22, that gives us 25. So if I put an 11 right here, that would work. So I have the three plus two times 11, 22. So that gives me my 25 oxygens. I have 25 here. This equation, it's balanced. Fairly simple if you leave the oxygens till last. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C8H18O3 plus O2. Thanks for watching.